The Prince of Wales maintained his usual dedication to charity work, even as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle enjoyed the Invictus Games in Germany with a warm welcome. While the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were at the event, Prince William, aged 41, took his commitment to raising awareness about mental health in the UK's construction industry to West London. On Wednesday morning, Prince William visited a construction site in the capital to engage in conversations about the mental health challenges faced by construction workers. He was presented with some alarming statistics concerning the industry, including its alarmingly high suicide rate, which ranks among the highest in the country. This statistic translates to an average of two lives lost every working day, a staggering figure that deeply impacted the prince. During his visit, Prince William met with industry workers to discuss this critical issue and also talked about suicide prevention with the charity mates in mind. He expressed his commitment to ensuring that mental health is as important as physical health and emphasized the importance of early identification and intervention to prevent crises. As part of his visit, Prince William suited up in protective gear, including a high-vis jacket, a white hard hat, and protective eyewear, to take a brief tour of the construction site. This visit took place during World Suicide Prevention Day, highlighting the urgency of addressing the mental health challenges in the construction industry. Shockingly, suicide rates in this sector are more than three times higher than the national average, with 507 construction workers taking their own lives in 2021. Prince William and his wife have been vocal advocates for mental health awareness in their public work, emphasizing the need to create safe spaces for individuals to discuss their problems openly. During his visit to the construction project in West London, which is run by MACE and collaborates with the mental health charity mates in mind, Prince William acknowledged the unique challenges faced by construction workers. These challenges include high-pressure deadlines, being away from home for extended periods, a traditional macho work culture that discourages discussing emotions, and concerns related to temporary employment contracts. During his visit, Prince William took the opportunity to engage with workers during their lunch break, conversing with a group of carpenters and a supervisor in the on-site canteen. He asked them about their mental health and whether they felt comfortable discussing it emphasizing the importance of mental fitness. The prince acknowledged that the construction industry is predominantly male-dominated, making it a challenging group to reach in terms of mental health awareness. However, his visit aimed to break down those barriers and encourage open conversations about mental well-being in this vital sector. Supervisor Edward Chaffa, aged 43, shared his thoughts after a conversation with Prince William, emphasizing the prevalence of pressure in their line of work. He noted that open discussions about these challenges are common, and they take care of each other. Weekly sessions provide a platform for addressing their concerns. On the rooftop of the building, Prince William engaged with other staff members and representatives from Mates in Mind shortly after World Suicide Prevention Day. He asked one young man about coping mechanisms and personal experiences. Drawing from his time as an air ambulance pilot, Prince William stressed the importance of not carrying trauma alone and seeking help. He highlighted that seeking support can help individuals avoid suffering silently for years. Alex Lovett, a health, safety, and well-being manager at MACE, praised the Prince for his interest in understanding the issues within their industry. He noted a positive shift in the workplace culture, emphasizing the need for open conversations and acknowledging the challenges faced in the construction sector. He recounted a tragic incident where a colleague took their own life with no prior signs of distress. Regarding his own experiences, Lovett mentioned his willingness to discuss mental health openly, despite fitting the stereotype of a typical construction worker. He highlighted the progress made in fostering open dialogues, but acknowledged that there is still work to be done. Speaking about Prince William, Lovett appreciated the Prince's understanding and empathy toward the unique pressures of modern life. He praised the Prince's willingness to make discussing mental health more ordinary. Jordan Smith, director of SM5 Developments, emphasized the importance of talking about mental health issues and promoting well-being initiatives. He acknowledged the challenges men face in expressing their emotions and the need to change the culture in the workplace. Smith praised Prince William's authenticity and hoped that his involvement would inspire others. Sarah Meek, managing director of Mates in Mind, 
discussed the organization's efforts to facilitate culture change within companies like Mace. She welcomed Prince William's visit and his firsthand understanding of the industry's pressures. She highlighted the human cost associated with work-related stress and expressed gratitude for Prince William's commitment to prevention and early intervention. In conclusion, Prince William's visit resonated deeply with the individuals working in the construction industry as he shed light on the importance of mental health awareness, early intervention, and open communication. His genuine interest in the well-being of workers left a positive impact, inspiring positive change within the industry. In the meantime, in Dusseldorf, Meghan Markle received an enthusiastic and warm welcome at the Invictus Games as she made her inaugural appearance at a sporting event alongside Prince Harry. The audience leaped to their feet, cheering and applauding the Duchess of Sussex, who appeared pleasantly surprised by the fervent reception. She took her seat at the Merker Spiel Arena, exuding delight. Megan was dressed casually in a G-Crew sweater, stod shorts, and channel flat pumps. The 42-year-old mother of two waved enthusiastically to the crowd, even pumping her fists in the air, while also sharing warm embraces with supporters of the Australian team seated in her row. On the other hand, Prince Harry, who had been happily taking selfies with fans, took a backseat during this morning's event, as most attendees were eager to be photographed with Meghan. After her impromptu speech at an Invictus Games party attended by 1,600 people, where she apologized for her tardy arrival at the competition the previous day, anticipation had been building around Meghan's debut appearance today. More than 2,000 schoolchildren were invited to attend the fourth day of the event, and they had been buzzing with excitement about Megan's presence. The couple, whose two young children were back home in Montecito, California, watched a wheelchair basketball match between Australia and Ukraine. When the wheelchair basketball match concluded, the couple found themselves surrounded by fans eager to have their photos taken with them. Megan struck up a conversation with Australian competitor Laura Rainell, 28, from New South Wales, who was seated next to her and was sporting a beanie hat. Laura recounted, Megan found it amusing that I was wearing the beanie and inquired if I was feeling cold. I told her I'm from Oz and I'm always chilly. Ms. Raynell also mentioned that Megan spoke about her two young children back in California, saying, she was so kind and talked about her kids. She mentioned that the kids are excited about the Invictus Games, but are still a bit too young to fully grasp it. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.